Hello, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy and today I will be discussing about uh, how to execute Postgres SQL statements using C++. Okay, so if you did not watch my previous video on how to set up Postgres, you should watch that first. In this video, I will show you how to execute Postgres SQL statements using C++ or uh, GCC, G++, and using the C++ PQ library that is installed along with Postgres. In other words, I will show you how to query insert, delete, and update data in Postgres database and its table. Now here's what you need to have installed prior. You need Postgres 16 or later, uh, TDM GCC version 5.1.0 or later, um, Windows OS, example given Windows 10. And before you proceed, make sure to modify the pg um, underscore hba.config under this directory uh, when you have completed installing uh, Postgres. So in this way, you can use your IP address uh, instead of using uh, the loopback address which is 127.0.0.1 so you need to add a line into this file for example um, that I gave here uh, the host the Postgres which is your instance and here's your database and IP address slash 32 MD5 and then host so here's what I have here um, to give you an example okay so next so how to execute the SQL statement uh, this is already redundant I already stated that uh, but here are some commands that you will need to know for example to connect to Postgres database you need to use the PQ connect DB command uh, example given PG connect uh, pointer connect equal to PQ connect DB and your connect string to check for connection status you will need to use the PQ status function example given PQ status connect not equal to connect, connect OK so when finishing the connection to Postgres you want to perform PQ finish command and here's what's given here okay uh, and then to execute a SQL command with the C++ library, uh, you need to use the PQ ex execute command. Example given, PG, res uh, PG result star result equal to PQ execute the actual connect uh, connection and then the SQL command. To check for the result status from a Postgres execute, you need to use the PQ result status command and here's what I given here and if it is a query statement not non query like insert delete or update then you want to get the result back to do so you need to use the following command uh, PQ and tuples will return the numbers of rows back to you from a SQL table PQ and fields will return the number of fields back and so so this is a an example um, how I would retrieve the data back from a SQL table so to get the result back um, from a query you need to use a PQ get value function and here is a for loop the loop through the number of rows uh, Postgres returns to me then I loop through the number of fields that is returned from the PN, PQN field functions. Then, as you can see, I'm returning, uh, I'm calling P, PQ get values to, to retrieve the data. And after I have completed my query, I can do a perform cleanup. 
by using the PQ clear function as indicated here. Okay, so let's open up uh, VS Code. And the first thing we want to do is do con Control Shift P and edit the configuration UI. And go through the include path and make sure to include uh, the path where Postgres uh, SQL 16 include directory is located. Okay, so that we can actually um, able to IntelliSense the functions that's available uh, for the PQ library. Okay, so once you're done with that, should save and then close this. Then I'll begin discussing about the um, the functions that we have available. So I've created uh, four functions here: one for updating the data, one for deleting data, one for selecting data from Postgres and one for inserting data to Postgres. So notice um, each in each of these functions we have a connect string, the table name, um, and then the uh, arguments. For example, ID, function, um, first name, last name, and that's pretty much what I'm doing. Then, uh, so create a .h file that included um, the following uh, four functions then in the test uh, psql.cpp file we want to include that here and so for the first uh, function select from postgres as you can see I'm uh, I'm expecting the connect string along with the query um, statement and as you can see here, I'm, the first thing I do is connecting to the database. And if the connection fails, then we want to say the connection to the database has failed. And do a PQ finish, then return 1. If it's successful, then use the PQ execute command to connect to the database and then do a query. Okay, and then we want to check the result by using the PQ result status function. And if it's not uh, okay, then we need to fail and return one. And otherwise, we can get the number of rows using the PQ and tuples function and the field names using PQ fields uh, function. And here, I'm just doing a for loop and using the pq get value i return back the data for each row and column okay so that what that is what the select from postgres function does then for insert data uh, same thing same pattern we want to able to connect to database first and if fail uh, then return an error and then uh, do a pq finish then here I'm just creating an insert statement. So insert into the table name that I'm passing in along with the argument, the field name. So ID, first name, last name, value, and then the actual value for first name, last name, and ID. Then here I'm executing it. And then if it's successful, then we uh, say it's insert successfully. Otherwise return an insert fail error. And then clear the result then then finally do a pq finish right to close the connection to the database okay and here's the delete data function similarly we do a connect to a postgres database and if the connection uh, fail you know we return uh, otherwise we construct the sql statement delete from table name where first name is um, first name and last name is last name so these are our just argument that we passing in to construct the SQL statement and then we execute the query using the PQ execute function here that's built into this library then if it's an error then we say it's an error otherwise it is successful 
we're able to delete uh, the entry from the SQL tab table and here you can see that I'm clearing the result then I close the connection to the data database. Uh, similarly with the update data function we pass in the connect string table name ID first name last name so similar uh, construct try to connect the database then constructing my update statement then calling the pq execute command oh, I'm sorry function and then if the update fail then we give it an error using the pq error message otherwise we we state that it's successful then we clear the result and then we finish it off uh, by closing the database connection okay so in my main routine as you can see I'm creating this uh, connection here okay and then um, my um, and here I do an insert data um, and I pass in the table name and the respective argument then I do a select from uh, Postgres using select star from persons then I go ahead and delete data from database similar construct and then I reselect again um, here I update the database and then um, select from progress okay so that's what my programs look like so in order to build this um, we want to go to the, my build.batch file and as you can see here uh, you know I, I have t tdm g++ so um, as you can see here um, I'm using standard C++ 11 and um, I included this path here which is part of Postgres and the, the library is going to be located here and the last statement here is just to basically link with the Postgres the PQ um, library okay so now that this is all constructed I can go to my command prompt Okay, sorry, this is my um, connection to Postgres. So if I do select star, as you can see, the, these are the three um, rows that I have, I have already inserted. Okay, so now I can open up a command prompt here. Just do a clear. There's a couple of um, files in here, including my batch file and also uh, C++ file I can do a build.bat and it's built successfully so I should see an executable called myapp.exe and I can type in myapp.exe and the data has been inserted as you can see here and then data has been deleted Okay, then um, I do a query, then I'm updating the database, and you can see that Jake Doe has been replaced with John Lowe. Okay, and you, you should be able to see the same thing here. So if, it, if I select star from person in um, Postgres, same result okay so that's all I have for this tutorial thank you so much for watching uh, this video and if you like this video please you know please make sure to subscribe press like and subscribe and then uh, support me for whatever you can uh, thank you so much and then see you later bye for now